hello my extended family on youtube i hope you guys are doing really well today's video is going to be about the most important mods that you should have on your ninja 300 in case if you are planning to buy one so let's get started with the video we'll begin from the front just ignore this mask this is not an accessory again anyways <laughs> so the first thing is that these two auxiliary lights one over here one over here the reason why you need auxiliary lights is because these stock L, you know halogen bulbs they are okay they do not do much of a justice when you are on the highways you know riding in the dark they do not help a lot you know so in that case you can there are two options that you can either opt for maybe you can you know upgrade the the bulbs itself you can go for led ones but then those will be expensive because you know the good quality ones are pretty expensive so to save some money you can go with these auxiliary lights these are the flood beam not the spot beam light and they do you know spread a lot when they fall on the ground the next mod is this the small windscreen the visor then i upgraded it last week itself i did post a video about this as well and i've been using the stock visor for nearly three years now there was no problem but then i always wanted to have you know this kind of a visor because at highway speeds i can actually feel the wind over you know my shoulders and sometimes if it goes inside the helmet it unsettles it so i wanted to upgrade this but unfortunately i never got a you know decent quality one which would not have the scratches and all that's the reason why it took a you know a bit of time for me to upgrade it's a good thing to have but not something that is mandatory i would say all right so now comes the most important mod and that is you know the accessory that is this that is the our radiator guard why do we need the radiator guard because you know let me show you the front fender so as you can see it is like very small and it would actually throw all the small stones and pebbles on the radiator and that can actually spoil the radiator fin so this thing is a must have you know you can get it again in your local market or you can get it on amazon or flipkart or somewhere as well but then you have to get it this would cost you nearly like 1200 or you know 1500 rupees don't pay anything more than that because that's not really required and in case if you think that you're not ready to spend that much amount what i would suggest you to do is you know you get these uh splendor or passion like these small bikes which have a small rubber or plastic you know extender here so you can probably get those and you can get that custom fitted here that would cost like 200 rupees at the max and that would do the job but then if you can i would really you know uh suggest you to get the radiator guard and here is another accessory which is a must and that is the uh, tank pad you have to have the tank pad because you never know you know the zippers in your jacket or uh, whatever dress you're wearing it may apparently you know give some scratches you can you can spoil the paint and all of that this thing is very cheap this is from auto graphics i got it from amazon and it costed me nearly 350 rupees or so i am using this particular uh, tank pad for nearly one and a half year and it has been holding pretty good now there is another important accessory which is missing on my motorcycle is the frame sliders and the reason is that i have not been able to procure the ones which are you know of decent quality ones the one that kawasaki sells it's like 18000 rupees and i don't find it to be worth enough there are some frame sliders which you can find on amazon but you know this is this is how they would look you can see it on your screen right now. i will not recommend you buying it the reason is that they mount essentially on engine case that is you know over here and somewhere inside and in case of a fall the you know the whole impact is going to be coming onto the engine case on this side this bolt here and there is another which is hidden behind these three bolts will take the entire impact and that can actually you know cause the whole damage to the engine casing itself so i will not recommend buying it i would say you know if you have um, if you know someone who is coming from somewhere outside of india you can procure it or wait and until you get a good frame slider now what you're seeing over here right now with this one and the same thing is on this side as well these are called the tank grips or you can call them the tank slappers it's not a necessary thing to have i installed it because many times when we are going through twisties or ghat roads you know so you know we try to get a little aggressive and this thing it actually helps to grip the tank better if it is not there it's not a problem but then if it's there it does you know help a lot all right folks so now is the turn of the most important accessory of them all let me open the seat real quick and it is this this is a t-shirt 
<laughs> this is actually a t-shirt and the reason why we need it is let me quickly you now shut the rear seat let me quickly put it back and i'll show you why do we need this thing so now the rear seat is in place there is nothing inside there's no t-shirt and just sear it can you see this so this is the problem and <laughs> i do not know why kawasaki did not fix the problem you know these two legs or whatever extenders they should have been slightly longer you know they should have been at least a couple of centimeters more and that's when they would have actually you know gotten in contact with these two edges over here and that's when they would sit properly but then i do not know if they have fixed it with the bs6 version but the bs4 has this problem now i have put the t-shirt back into the place and then you see there is no movement in the seat it does not move at all so uh, i hope kawasaki has fixed it with the bs6 version if they haven't then it's a you no know, it's a major disappointment so uh, there it is my dear friends the important mods on a kawasaki ninja 300 something that is uh, you should plan for if you are looking to buy a ninja 300 be it the new one or be it from the used market i hope you guys like the video in case if it did do give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and acquaintances and i'll see you again in the next one thanks a lot my dear friends have a really good time stay safe and god bless